Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. And this is Unité 9, Leçon O. And in this lesson, we'll discover together l'impératif. Okay, so as usual, when we see a tense, we first work on l'emploi, so when do we use it? And then after that, we'll see la formation, so how do we construct this impératif form? Okay, but then first, of course, l'emploi. So, when do we use the impératif? Well, it's quite simple. We've got three main uses of l'impératif. The first one, le conseil. So, if you want to translate conseil, it would be advice, okay? So, if you want to give an advice to someone, okay, in most of the cases, you will use this impératif form. Or then, if you want to give an order, okay? So, normally, that's the tense we use if we want to use this order thing and then uh, la défense so if you want to forbid something to someone okay so in that case you should use l'impératif okay so conseil ordre ou défense okay we'll see just a few examples just to see how it works le conseil so we've got this example pour aller à la gare tourner à gauche et continuer tout droit okay so to go to the station aller is to go la gare, the station, pour aller à la gare, tourner, and that's our first impératif, à gauche, on your left, et continuer, continue is to continue, tout droit, straight. Okay, so tourner and continuer here are at the impératif form. Okay, normally at this level, maybe it rings a bell and maybe you can uh, think that they look like something we saw previously. Okay, so ordre now, if you want to give an order, same thing here. Uh, fêter devoir, okay, so faire is to give, uh, sorry, to do, sorry. <laughs> and then tes devoirs, your homework, okay, we tend to put that at the plural form in French. Fêter devoir, okay, and this is here as well, an impératif. Okay, and then let's see now, une défense, n'utilisez pas. Votre téléphone portable pendant le cours. So, of course, in that case, défense, you want to forbid something, so you should use this uh, negative form, okay? So, n'utilisez pas votre téléphone portable pendant, during le cours, the lesson, okay? Utiliser is to use. N'utilisez pas votre téléphone portable pendant le cours. Same thing here. Utilisez is at the imperative form, okay? So, now, first thing. The, when we talk about this uh, imperative form, the, the, the first thing that you've got to remember is that we've got only three persons, so there will be tu, nous, and then vous. So the imperative doesn't exist for je, for il and il au pluriel. Okay, and then the second thing that you should remember is that you won't use these pronouns personnels. So normally when we've got a tense, uh, well, so far all the tenses that we saw, you use these pronouns personnels, so tu, nous, and vous, okay? The concept with the imperative is that you won't use tu, either nous, or vous, okay? So you don't use these pronouns personnels. All right, so these two things are the main thing. First, only three persons, tu, nous, and vous. And the second thing, you don't use the pronoun personnel. Okay, let's see now how we build this imperative form. So, we'll see first the premier group, then we'll see the deuxième group, and then the troisième group, and finally, of course, as usual, the irregular verbs. All right, so let's start with the first group, le premier group. So normally the first group, and it's it's been that way so far, is the easy group because uh, it is regular. In that case for the imperative, well it will be the tricky group, okay? Because for instance at the present form we've got tu parles, okay? So that's the present form of the verb parler, parler to talk, from the, from, from the first group, okay? If we want to make this imperative form, well, it will look like that, parle. So you can see that your final S needs to go away, and you will get this 
parle form. This is your imperative form, so l'impératif. And then don't forget to put le point d'exclamation here, because whether it's an order or an advice, you should put it. Okay, that's the way it goes. And then remember, we don't put the pronom personnel. So just this form. Okay, so that's the first form of parler at the imperative. Then nous parlons. So this is the present form. Okay. Well, it's quite easy. You don't touch it. You don't change anything. You just put it back here. Don't put the pronom personnel, of course. Just put this point d'exclamation at the end. And you've got your imperative form. So parlons. Okay. And then vous parlez. Well, same thing here. You just keep it like it is at the present form. And you just put your point d'exclamation at the end. So what you need to remember is that the only thing that will change, so between the present form here and this imperative form, is this final S that normally we don't pronounce, but still we write it. Okay, So it needs to go away at the imperative for the TU form. Okay, Let's see now verbs from the second group. So I took this uh, finir, finir to end, to finish. Okay, so tu fini at the present form and have a look. It's exactly the same form. Fini. Okay, point d'exclamation and you take away the pronom personnel. All right, then nous finissons exactly the same form. Finissons, don't forget the point d'exclamation at the end and you take away this nous. Vous finissez, and you will get finissez, okay? So, what you've got to remember, second group of verbs, actually, they will be exactly the same as uh, at the present form, okay? So, no change. Of course, you need to take away the pronoun personnel, but the forms will stay the same, okay? So, let's see now the troisième group. So, normally, in most of the cases, troisième group is the contain all the tricky verbs, okay? Uh, but then if you take the example of prendre, prendre is to take, tu prends at the present form, okay? Well, look, it is exactly the same thing. Keep in mind that, of course, you should put this point d'interrogation at the end, uh, sorry, point d'exclamation at the end, and then you take, you take away this pronom personnel, but still, it's the same form, all right? Then, nous prenons at the present form, we'll get this prenons. And the last one, vous prenez, you will get prenez. Okay, so third group of verbs, actually it's quite easy because you don't touch anything, you don't change anything, you just take away this pronoun personnel and you will have your imperatif form. Okay, of course, as usual in French, we've got some irregular verbs. Okay, so the first one will be aller. Okay, so aller will be like that. So the only thing that will change with aller is, well, what we saw in the first group, the final S will go away. So you get va, allons, aller. Okay, the other forms are exactly the same. Savoir will become sache, sachons, sachez. Ouvrir, Ouvre, so the S goes away. Ouvrons, ouvrez. Okay, aller is to go, savoir to know, ouvrir to open. Okay, then of course, être and avoir. So être will become soit. Remember, final S is not pronounced. Soit. Then soyons, soyez. All right, soit, soyons, soyez. And avoir will become E, remember the final E is not pronounced, so you only have this A-E sound, E, okay? E, ayons, ayez, okay? E, ayons, ayez, okay? So one more time, soit, soyons, soyez, then E, ayons, ayez, all right? And now, Remember that all these tricky verbs will be modified if you put a pronoun 
after. Okay, and we're talking about only two categories of pronouns. So we saw the pronouns previously, so you should know now <laughs> what pronouns I'm talking about. So I'm talking about this pronoun I here, so the Y pronoun, and I'm talking about the pronoun en. Okay, so because in most of the, well, not most of the cases, but quite often in, in French, when we use the imperative, we tend to avoid repeating things. So uh, we will put uh, pronounce if needed and if possible. Okay, so in that case, for instance, remember pense, so it's from the first group. So normally when you put this imperative, you shouldn't put the S, okay? But then if you put this Y, so this pronoun after, then you will have to put back this S just to produce it orally because you will pronounce it Pense-y, pense-y, okay? Pense-y, all right? So you get to make this liaison. Same thing here, vas-y, vas-y, all right? And then achète-en, achète-en, all right? So that's one important thing if you want to construct this imperative form with pronouns. Then now, we'll see how to construct this imperative when we've got the negative form. After that, we'll see how it works if you've got only one pronoun and pronoun complément, and then one or two in that case. And then uh, finally, we'll see with the verb pronomino. But then now first, la négation. So I took this parler verb, and if you have a look at it, so imperative is parle, okay? If you want to write the same sentence but at the negative form, well, it's quite easy because it will be ne parle pas, okay? So you just put your ne before the verb and then the pas after the verb and of course you don't change the, the rest. Finir, finissons, ne finissons pas, okay? So same concept, ne first, then your verb and after that and then mettre, mettez, will become ne mettez pas. Okay, so it's not that difficult. Now let's see with the pronouns. Okay, and then first part will be with one pronoun, and after that we'll see how to construct that with two pronouns. And it is a bit difficult if I'm totally honest with you. But now with one pronoun, let's see, regarde-moi. Okay, and it will become at the negative form, ne me regarde pas. Okay, so here normally remember these pronouns, me, okay, should come before the verb. Then the rule at the imperative is that if you've got these structures, so structure affirmative, okay, so it's not the negative form, then they should come after. And then this me is one of the pronouns that will change and it will become moi. Regarde moi, okay? But when you put back this structure to the negative form, so me just become the normal form, so ne me regarde pas, all right? Same thing, so toi will be the second and the last to be uh, drastically modified, so it will become regarde toi, okay? So the rules stay the same, you put it after, okay? Regarde toi. All right, but then when you put the negative form, well, it becomes normal, so ne and then te regarde pas. Okay, keep in mind that as usual for the pronouns, they will come before the verb, okay? So your negative form is coming before and after the whole thing. And then, well, if you've got this le pronoun, or it could be the la, well, it will it will stay the same, so no modification, so regarde-le, and then negative form, ne le regarde pas. Okay? Regarde-la, ne la regarde pas. It could be regarde-nous, okay? Ne, whoops, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake, it should be nous here, ne nous regarde pas. Okay? And the last one, regarde-les, will become ne les regarde pas. Okay, so keep in mind that it's only this me and te pronouns that will change. They will become this moi and toi. So they will become these forms and you should put each time anyway after 
the verb and don't forget this little thing between the two because as you can see we've got to put it okay now if you want to put two pronouns in your structure with the imperatif well it's something that's uh, well it's not really rare to to use that okay but then well we've got some of course as usual quite strict rules and that's the thing the first part that you will have will be me or m apostrophe te or t apostrophe lui then nous and leur okay so that will be the first thing that you will have to put and after that will come your pronoun en okay that's normally the the the, the association of pronouns that we've got okay so let's see them in action for instance parlement okay so as you see first you put this m apostrophe and then you put your pronoun okay don't forget that they must come after your verb because it's the imperative parlement okay but if you put them at the negative form then you will get ne ment parle pas okay remember negative form then they come back as they should be all the time so before the verb all right so another example parle nous en okay here and then we will get ne nous en parle pas okay sorry for the examples but uh, i tend to not to make the liaison when i make these little examples just because i think it's more clear not to make the liaison okay but then of course parle nous en ne nous en parle pas should be the the way you should pronounce them okay but still just to make it clear where you put them and to avoid any mistake or anything like that okay so same thing here so parle and then after that you've got your pronoun and second pronoun en but when you put the negative form ne and then you put them back before your verb okay uh, second possibility that you would have would be the pronouns like le la and le okay and they will come first and after that you will have this moi lui nous and leur okay let's see a few examples now donne la moi okay donne la moi so exactly the same rule as we saw previously okay so you put them after your verb like that okay but of course when you put the negative form then you put them back look ne me la donne pas donne la moi ne me la donne pas then donne la nous and it will become ne nous la donne pas all right so i know this is really difficult so don't worry because many students have some difficulties at the beginning okay but then little by little you will understand the structure and the way to construct that okay just try to keep that in mind okay try to listen to persons and then try to use this structure but remember that in many cases it's possible to avoid repeating or to avoid sorry using the, the pronouns by repeating a few words okay so it's well it's an option as well okay so let's see now les, les verbes pronominaux okay and so I took this uh, se regarder verb, okay? So, regarde-toi. And then you put, if you put the, the same structure, but then uh, at the negative form, so, ne te regarde pas. Regardons-nous. Ne nous regardons pas. Regardez-vous. Ne vous regardez pas. Okay, so exactly the same thing as we saw previously. So, toi, nous, and vous should come after the verb okay but when you put this structure at the negative form so te nous and vous should come before the verb okay so that's the rule that's it i hope it was not too difficult 
I know that the imperative form doesn't look like much when you look at it like, like that. But then if you want to structure it with the pronouns, it's a bit tricky, okay? But then don't worry. Um, if you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier. And the website is waiting for you, www.imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye-bye.